good morning, good afternoon, Kambawa, Ohio, Bonjour to everyone. The Panda Photographer is here well, once again doing a photo retouching request by Mustafa, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. He sent me some of his raw files over, he liked my previous video, so now I am going to be retouching his photos, but uh, I just want to emphasize guys that this is a live Lightroom uh, retouching on some of the photos, so keep in mind that I was waiting for the email from him to identify what lens did he use. Because uh, I like to actually use the lens correction, but I'm gonna guess this was with maybe he was using a Nikon camera because this is a NF NEF raw file from a Nikon. So I'm gonna say maybe like an 85. So with that said, everyone, I am the Panda Photographer from 646studios.com and please do subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit the notification button, but also follow me with the social media links down in the descriptions below and if you like the video here, please do support the channel by hitting the PayPal donation link. Soon I will be with Super Chat, hopefully if I get to a thousand subscribers, that would be nice, but I do other have other uh, YouTube channels like 646 Gaming Studios and PC Hardware Custom PCs but this is going to be my main channel when I'm going to take everything from those channels and put them into this channel but please if you're new here as I said subscribe love the content and the music that I'm using is free non copyrighted downloaded material so enjoy the music as I uh, retouch this photo and the one thing I want to emphasize is that uh, in this photo, posing could be better, uh, and you know, and I'm not here to judge anyone because I made mistakes as well when I started photography. But I didn't start portrait photography until like two years ago. So uh, I did mostly like sports, entertainment, uh, video logins, and stuff like that. But but I'm gonna actually crop this image. And I'm gonna crop this. This feels all right. So I am cropping, and he should have got a, a shot like this, tight, so he doesn't waste those megapixels in his camera. Uh, and the reason why I say you should always fill the frame each and every single time is that make sure that when you do fill the frames, you want to utilize all those megapixels in your camera. But I'm gonna crop it for him. But it seems like I'm gonna move this over a little bit. That seems about right. And as I said, the the posing could be better, but I can still work with it. But this is a retouching, but um, not sure what lens is. She's gorgeous, by the way. I don't really have to do much with her skin, to be honest. So, but I am going to add some some settings and retouch it a little bit and bring her eyes out, bring her her skin tones a little bit more poppy with a nice uh, natural glow. Um, but with that said, just go down into here into the settings. So I'm gonna guess that maybe he used. I don't know man, I, he didn't email me, that's the disappointing part, but just check the chat here, alright, I wish he would have had, you know, to email me to, to confirm what lens he used, but, uh, see here, This seems like a manual lens. I'm gonna guess. So here we are. Let's go into my six by six studio poses.
Do the baby glow really quickly. That's just the base. So if you guys want to understand the base, the base is like that light that's giving off. It's going to help me bring out her skin a little bit more. It's going to also help me bring out some of that contrast. And let's do a golden glow. Hmm. Okay. And you can see it's not sharp. It's just missed the focus, but her skin seems sharp. But as I said, just missed focus, but we're gonna work with it. Alright. And let me make sure that the live is up and running. And it is. So if you guys just tuned in, this is a retouching request from Mustafa. Uh, he sent me two wall files and I'm gonna work with this one first, then I'm gonna work with the second one later on. And that would be a separate video, but this is just gonna be about this video here. So this is a request retouching. So I am moving spot removal, making sure, and I'm adjusting the spot removal tool as I go along. You can see me change the size of it. I need to do three to one and let's move. As I said, this is just a retouching photo for my stuff, right? This is a request. And if you guys want me to retouch your portraits, please be kind. It's not critiquing, it's called retouched. There's a difference between critiquing and retouching. Retouching is you give me a raw file, I do something with it, I feature your photo in my live uh, YouTube feeds here, and shared information along with other subscribers and other photographers to subscribe to your channel and also follow you, social media wise. Okay? I'm just looking for spots. I like to listen to music as I retouch it, puts me in a groove of things. So, if you don't like the music, that's fine, but I listen to things that get me in the mood. Not, no rap. I wish this was really sharp image. Did it get, then again, it could be sharp. It could be that he shot it wide open and the lens that he shot it with was very soft, wide open. So that could be another factor here. It could be a big factor. Hmm. If anyone's in the chat. Alright. Okay, if you guys just stood in, as I said before, I am doing a photo retouch request from Mr. Stafford. 
70s Wolf Howls to him. There's a difference between Critique It and Retouch It. Retouch It is you give me Wolf Howls, I feature your photos into the live feed here. Okay. So I am checking the, the chat box here and end. What's up Marriott? How are we doing? Why why make the stamp in Lightroom? No, because if you understand my videos, Marriott, is that I only do Lightroom for a reason. Because I have the tools to do it in Lightroom. So I don't want to touch Photoshop. So if it's a photographer out there that only wants to do Lightroom, then this video is for that person. It's not to say, yes, I can do it in Photoshop. I do have Photoshop, but all my videos are based on Lightroom only. Not a single one can touch up in Photoshop. It's what you can do with Lightroom that I want to show people. Now, if you look, on the side here I have presets for everything from light from astral photography for weddings for portraits for time lapses for uh, weddings for concerts for everything that I need here I also have brush tools that I don't have for Photoshop if you look on the side here I have tons of retouching skills here so this is what you can do in Lightroom and most of my photos that I've done are all in Lightroom only. Because everyone uses Photoshop but no one wants to use Lightroom and Lightroom is also very resourceful if you know how to use it. It's use what you have but I do have as you can see here I got Photoshop, I have Premiere, I have Bridge, I also have After Effects, Lightroom, and I also have Decoder, which is a media decoder. So I'd rather use Lightroom because I am very familiar with Lightroom and most people do not want to use Lightroom because they go to Photoshop. But I become really familiar with Lightroom for a number of reasons. It's because Lightroom, like I said, all these presets here, I can use it at my advantage and use the brush methods and all the brush tools and add tools. You can add tools, which I also add. Where do you need to sit? Hmm. Uh, I have another application that is also adapted to Lightroom to order to help me retouch my photos. Uh, Google just uh, announced it and I have it somewhere in here. I forgot the name of it. Can we take it off the back? I just want to teach people how to use Lightroom and how they can use Lightroom over time to make it a primary source of software retouching without going into Photoshop. And these are all these presets are from the years of me gathering and retouching and playing around and saving and also these brush. Oops, and all these brush tools here are just insane. Like, I have a number of like sepal weapons here at my advantage. So, I just use it. And right now, I have over like five, six thousand presets here. So, I have tons of them. Like, look at all this presets, man. It's insane. This is years. This is like at least four years of like saving this data so i'm going to use the best what i can now i can use light photoshop i can but I, I like lightroom because it's more challenging photoshop is just 
It's challenging, but it's also, to me, too easy. But, like I said, everyone, I also have another software on top of the Lightroom that is actually um, adapted to Lightroom to also help me retouch. But let's get back to the photo really quickly. What I wanted to do. I wish the posing was a little bit better. I'm just gonna hit three to one. And note that I am using a Wacom tablet. So I'm using a pen. Sometimes I'm using a mouse to navigate my way through the navigation, but 90% of the time I'm using my Wacom tablet to touch up. Change the size of the brush. So, if you guys want to just see, let me just finish her eyes really quickly. And each time you touch up an eye, make a new brush. Like this one, I'm going to change the, the exposure by 20%. 20. So, I'm going to show you before and after so far. See? Before and after. You guys take the time to, to examine the photo to see what I'm... What I'm doing. And why do you guys check the box? Maybe this can Okay, for once, let me ask you a question, Mariad. Is you are you and are you is your uh is your uh, displayed or your display on your screen is calibrated correctly? Because mine's are. Mine's is calibrated. So you just said maybe the skin tones and the grass are very familiar and that may be true but I see I see a more buying glow if you look at the if you look at the the glass yes I can always fix it which is right here see it says six red skins look what, what happened it doesn't look like I did much so But I want to emphasize a glow to her skin, not a greenish glow. I feel like that was a bluish glow to me. So let's go back in here, fix this up. I just want to show you the before and after so you can see the differences. Now I can separate the greens. Actually, I need to fix this first. 28. 1.1. 1. 1. And I am going to use the sharpening tool. Right. 
right? Okay. Okay. But then again, my panel is a TN panel. I'm not sure what kind of panel you have for your laptop or your desktop. I am editing this on a, what is this? How old is this laptop? This laptop is like three years old. And using GPU, dual core, 16 gigabytes of RAM, but I'm only using SSDs. I only use SSDs. Now, but here's the trick. If you guys want to know a secret trick on how to get the colors that you see in your camera, you do not always have to use the Adobe standard colors. You can always go down to your camera's standard colors and boom. You see that sudden change? Did you guys see that? You see it? Do it again. Now it's separating the, the greens and her skin more perfect so you don't always have to use that Adobe standard color you can use the camera standard color because Nik the Nikons do have a good color science and most people say yeah Canon is on top of the color skin science and the skin tones that's true but Nikon does also have great skin tones and now if you're using Sony cameras did you know and I have a video about this that you can change the color signs in camera on all the Sony Alpha cameras. Now, take it with the grain of salt, it's based on taste. So make sure you understand the color science. If you go in white balance and you scroll the dial pad to the right, you enter the color signs. So if you want Canon colors, Nikon colors, Panasonic colors, it's based on yours. I'm gonna leave it like that. Now, Meredith, you said to change the skin color. So I go in here, the Loomis, and I will either add or subtract. You see how the skin is changing? The rest, you see it? Go up more, go down more, go up more, you see? This is how I can control the skin color tones. So, like I said, if you know how to use Lightroom, you become a master in Lightroom. And you become knowledgeable. I'm no master, I'm just experienced on how to use Lightroom more and more every single day. And plus, Lightroom is it's fun to me. And then I'm gonna fix the greens. Not gonna mess with the hue. Just the Lumis on this one. I, I I really really want to know what lens did he use because that's the only thing that's getting me off track here. So let's go back into white eyes. If you guys like the video, please do subscribe. Please do follow me on social medias and if you guys really want to help, it's Christmas time, hit that PayPal donation link down in the descriptions below. It helps me out during the holidays. Just, just want to 
emphasize some of these whites here. Each time you touch up on each eye, make a new brush. Because the light of the strobe gets, it's giving me a little off, a little bit, just a little off. Now, if I wanted to, everyone, I can actually duplicate this photo 50 times and and layer it as one photo and then import it still as a raw file and touch it up and it will be much sharper. But that's just a lot of work. Okay, just want to see who's in the chat. Okay, the ones in the chat. So my Wacom tablet is pressure sensitive. The harder I press, the more this, the more it pops. So I'm just doing medium pressure to my Wacom tablet. So, before and after it, so far. Now, Mario, are you still in the chat right now? Are you still here? Let's see if he's still here. So if any of you have any questions that you want to ask me, please ask them in the live chat.
I may fix that in a bit. Hmm. Alright, let's try a little bit. Subscriber, Jean Joseph Napoleon. Thank you for subscribing, Joseph. Don't worry everyone, I am going to fix that. Fix the edges. I'm gonna fix the edges, don't worry about it. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good reason to bring up. When Mario asks me, when Mario asks me about why don't I do it in Lightroom? Now, there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that says, oh, for instance, oh, only shoot with one speed light, but they end up shooting with speed light and a strobe. So it conflicts, it contradicts the video in a lot of ways. I don't want to actually make videos that contradict itself. If I'm going to use, if my title says Lightroom Processing, I only want to use Lightroom. A lot of these videos say, oh, touch up in Lightroom, but then they go into Photoshop and do the rest of the work. That's actually not the title description. The title description should be just doing everything in Lightroom. So I'm trying to emphasize and structurally make videos based on my title, Lightroom Editing Processing Only. So. Wish this computer was a bit faster. I think I should just check the ear.
Hmm. Yes, there is. There is a tone range correction. I have it right here as a preset. Right here. I do have it. As I said guys, I have 6,000 presets at my exposal. And plus I have, what, over 200 brush method tools here. But, uh, yet. So, if you guys want to see the before and after, it, I will show you that. Give me a second. Done. So, here's a before it, and here's an after it. Go too long with this live video. All right. So Jeffrey, yes. Now the next step is to I really want to sharpen his eyes. I don't have a preset for that. I also have it here as well, even skin tones out. Do sharp and face. I got to zoom in one to one with this. So if you just tuned it in, I'm doing a photo retouch and request on Mustafa's request. So he sent me his photos files and I am just toying with some of his, uh, his imagery. And I wish he would have got this image really sharp. The, po the posing would have been more, I wish the posing was more, more fashionable than more presentable. but. I have no contrast here. Okay. Why is it lagging? Strange. So if you guys have any photos that you want to send me uh, to feature in the next video, please do send them uh 
to this email. I forgot to add the email in the description, but here's the email for you guys to send your images. But please make sure they are raw files. I do not like to touch up JPEGs because I don't have the flexibility when they're JPEGs. I like to add raws. So send it to this email with your name and two of your best photos portraits and I would do I would present them in the next live uh, because I'm pretty sure I have two more to do after this one and uh, your name your your Instagram your Facebook your Twitter so I can represent you in the next video so people can subscribe to you and also follow you as well but if you guys like the video so far Please do subscribe, please hit the like button, but also please support the, the, the support links down below and hit the PayPal donation button as well. But let me continue on with this photo. See the differences guys, this is a big difference. spots okay lucky
the reason why I'm moving spots from her legs because they are exposed and if you are going to even retouch any photo you should remove any little spots or bumps on the skin and that makes a big difference even if there's like three or four of them it can make a big dramatic difference to your photograph I want to see if I can patch this up here I don't like this spot Legs are clean now, as you can see, big difference from the legs. Why is my computer lagging? See, you see the spot here? You see the spot here? See the spots there? Now look at the same locations, big difference. Stafford, thank you for sending in the photo and I've been at this for about an hour. Holy crap. Uh, thank you for watching everyone and happy that you guys joined this live Lightroom tutorial and just like you guys see the befores and after once again mm, before and after it big difference so please do subscribe to the channel please hit the notification button to see more I might do one more today at 3 o'clock 4 o'clock this evening I set the schedule time for that so you guys be prepared for that as well but with that said this is the panda photographer eat sleep photography repeat and I will see you guys in the next lightning tutorial